Today I'm reviewing a very special model by Almost Real. It is the Roof SCR in Irish Green. Now Almost Real, by their name, makes models that are very close to the real thing. So there's a lot of detail and this model did not disappoint. It does come in a very nice box. The model itself is encased very safely so there's no concerns about anything like that. It comes with a tool and a certificate of authenticity. Now on to the review. And here you are. The overall paint on this model is fantastic. I have yet to identify any flaws with the paint. It seems to have been applied very evenly and the clear coat is very nicely done as well. Now there is some polishing that could have continued on with this paint because there is a little um, orange pill in the paint. The overall shape is perfect. That almost goes without saying. The shut lines on this model are actually really good. The wheels are awesome as well. It has everything that you would expect out of a model at this price point. The only thing that's missing on these wheels is the tire scripting. So there's no branding at all on the tires and there's no valve stem at all either. Moving on to the front of this model, you have these absolutely gorgeous clear headlights. You can clearly see the bulb for the headlights in this model. The front is perforated, so you have this nicely done grille here as well, including the ducting that is hollow, so it does go through, which is really good. You have these clear side markers, which is European spec. You wouldn't find it on a US car, even though a lot of us, including myself, change those lights out. Moving on to the back of the model. Again, plenty of detail here. You have this very nicely vents that are on the back of this. And again, these are true vents. This exhaust outlet, which when you get a closer look at it, the outlets do have the imprint of roof on them, which is really nice. On the hood, you do have the roof print on there as well, which is very good. And this is also a fully opening diecast metal model. So let's open this thing up. And there you are. The functionality of the opening parts is very easy. Now I can say the doors give me a little trouble because the shut lines are so tight on them. But from this view, you can clearly see there's a lot of detail that I'm going to obviously do a close up on. But I just love how clean and clear all these details are. There are a lot of models out there that have this interior, have interior detail, but clarity is usually not the best description of it, whereas this you can. In other words, the lines, for, for this print, for example, you know, it's very well defined and textured. It's not blurry, and that's what you get with a lot of models. But this one, you don't have that, which is really good. closer look at this interior can you have this very nice plaid pattern on the seats you have the SCT right there on the, the door plate which is really nice that plaid as I mentioned that pattern it's so concise and clear you have your speaker grills This is a floor mat. Obviously it's not removable, but it's replicated very nicely. You do have this hole here for the seat belts. 
and you do have a true stitched seat belt with a photo etched buckle there as well. That pattern on the seats is really, really well done. The seats give a sense of softness. They don't look or give me the impression of a hard plastic. The color separation from the handbrake onto the panel, it actually looks like a truly separated piece. You can see the rough imprinted on the pedals. The gauges are absolutely clear. You can see the needles and the numbers. There's also a roof on the steering wheel that's printed there as well. This entire floor pan is carbon fiber, so you have the pattern there and out there as well. In the storage compartment, there's not a ton to see here. You do have the roof imprinted there. This is a carbon fiber tub and uh, yeah, you have your caps for your fluids there as well. Just rolling on to the back, and you have this absolutely stunning motor. You have this intake that is carbon fiber. I believe this is Kev Kevlar carbon fiber, and that beautiful contrast between the two materials is just outstanding. Everything again is well defined. You have all these lines and hoses Look back there. This is just a beautiful motor detail. This motor is ridiculously detailed. There is just so much there. This has to be one of the most detailed motors I have seen in a very, very long time. I would have never expected this much detail out of this model. Every line, holes, even a dipstick for the oil is present. And there you are. This is the Roof SCR in Irish green. And now to my conclusions. If someone told me without me seeing the box that this model was from AutoArt from their diecast composite series, I would believe it but it's not. It's from Almost Real, and it is zinc metal die cast. That's how great the lines, especially the shut lines, are on this model. I was pleasantly surprised. When you compare it to the real thing, it is not that bad. It's not off that much by uh, at all. The color, too, matches the real thing perfectly. I'm pretty sure they use the exact same color code pigment for their die cast model. I could not really identify any flaws with this model, there were some things I wished it would have had, but I'm asking probably a little bit too much. One would have been valve stems on the tire and scripting or branding on the tires themselves. That would have been the icing on the cake for this model. But there are models that are much more pricier than these that still don't have the scripting as well. So again, I'm probably asking for a little too much. The only other thing is the pattern on the seats. As great as it is and as well defined it is, the pattern itself is a little out of scale when you compare it to the real car. But again, I'm nitpicking. This is a fantastic model. This is the best model that I've reviewed for 2023. And we're only in March, so who's to say what else will come out? But so far, I would definitely have to say this is the best model. This model retails anywhere from $200 US to $230. It is very competitively priced with the AutoArt Kano parts, and this one would defeat a lot of those. That would include the latest AutoArt Wysis Package GT3. 
So that's how great I think this model is. If you're into values, because I know some of you are, this model is numbered. It does come with a certificate, but I don't believe it's limited. I'm pretty sure there's only so many of these that'll make because Almost Real does that consistently. They only make a certain amount, but it has not been revealed exactly how much or yet I didn't see it. But the fact that this does come with a certificate is from a special brand, Almost Real, it's guaranteed that this model will definitely increase in value and probably in a relatively short amount of time. So I would give it my excellent three stars. If this model is so good, I'm gonna give it an extra star. That's how good I think this model is. Please like and subscribe. That is the best way I'm gonna know you're enjoying these videos. I know my previous video, I said I was gonna do a comparison of the Pink Pig. This car was so awesome, I overrode it. So it's coming up next. I appreciate your time and I'll see you next time.